fun with paint. Class 3 Children, we have already learned the basics of paint. The paint program has many tools that help us to draw and call out the pictures. Let us recall the tools that you have learnt in the previous class. Line tool Line tool is used to draw straight lines of varying thickness using different colors. Rectangle tool Rectangle tool is used to draw rectangular or square shapes. Oval tool It is used to draw ovals or circles. Polygon tool It is used to draw polygons with any number of sides. Fill with color tool Fill with color tools is used to fill color in an object. Pencil tool The pencil tool is used to draw free form lines or curves. Eraser tool The eraser tool is used to erase any part of your drawing. Airbrush tool The airbrush tool is used to spray paint on an area. Select tool The select tool is used to select any part of the picture that you want to change. We can use paint to add different shapes. The ready-made shapes are available in shapes group on the ribbon. To add shape, click on any ready-made shape. Press the left button of the mouse and drag the mouse on the paint window. Click on the outline and change the outline style. If the outline is not required, select no outline option. Click on the size to change the line thickness. Children, you have seen that normally the dialogues in a comic book are displayed in a speech balloons. Let us say you want to use this speech balloons in your drawing also. What will you do? You have two options. Either you draw them by using different tools of paint. Or you can make use of the call out shapes. Paint provides you with three different types of call-out shapes, rounded rectangular call-out, oval call-out, and cloud call-out. To draw call-out in paint, click on any of the call-out shapes from the shapes group. Click and drag the mouse pointer on the drawing area to draw the desired call-out. You can also fill color in the call-out and add text as and when required. To add color. Select Fill with Color tool in the Tools group and then click inside the Callout shape. To add text in Callout, select Text tool and click inside the shape, and type. Color Picker tool is used to select a color from an existing object and fill it into any other object. Draw a rectangle. Fill color in the rectangle using Fill with Color tool. Draw another object like circle with another color. Now, select the color picker tool. Click inside the rectangle object to copy the color. Move the mouse pointer and click inside the circle. What did you notice? The circle filled with the same color of rectangle. Modifying a picture Once drawing is made, you can make changes in it as desired, such as copying, deleting, moving, etc. These options are available on the Home tab. You can also use various options from the image group that contains commands to resize, rotate, crop or select whole or part of a picture. Selecting a picture the select tool is used to select any part of the picture that we want to change. The select button is present in the image group on the home tab. Clicking on this opens a drop down menu. It provides two types of selection tools, that is rectangular selection tool and freeform selection tool. Rectangular Selection Tools selects the object in a rectangular form. Draw the kite. Click on the Rectangular Selection Tool. To select the object, place the mouse pointer just outside the area to be selected. 
Click and hold down the left mouse button and then drag around the outer boundary of the object. Release the mouse button when it is completely selected. The freeform selection tool is used to select the part of an image in an irregular shape. We can even drag the selected portion and place it on another location. Select the freeform selection tool. Place the pointer on the drawing area. Select any object by holding the left mouse button and moving the pointer around the outer boundary of the object. Release the mouse button after selecting the object. To move any object, draw the picture of a kite and save it. Now, select the drawing or any part of the drawing with the help of select tool. A rectangle with a dashed line will appear on the picture. Click on the cut option in the clipboard group of home tab. Observe that the selected picture will be removed from the screen. Now, click on the paste option. The object that you have cut will appear on the top left corner on a drawing area. The copy command is used to make a duplicate copy of an object. Select the drawing by using the select tool. Select the copy command on the home tab. Click on the paste command in the clipboard group on the home tab. A duplicate copy of the object appears on the top left corner of the drawing area. You can move picture to any location. Flip means to rotate or turn the selected picture horizontally or vertically. Select the picture. Select Rotate option in the Image group on the Home tab. A list of options will be displayed for changing the rotation or flipping. Select the desired option and observe the changes. The size of the picture can be increased or decreased vertically or horizontally. Select the drawing. Select Resize option in the Image group on the Home tab. The Resize and Skew dialog box appears. Specify the resize in percentage or pixels, and skew in degrees for both horizontal and vertical in the respective boxes, according to your requirement. Zoom means to increase or decrease the view size of the object on the screen in any ratio. To zoom picture, draw a smiling face. Click on the zoom in option present on the view tab to increase the view size. Select Zoom Out option on the View tab to decrease the view size. Different file formats supported by Paint. The Paint program opens and saves a file in many formats. Let's learn about it. BMP or Bitmap The Bitmap file, also known as Bitmap Image file, is large in size and cannot be compressed. When you take a photograph using a digital camera or scan an image from a paper, a bitmap image file is created. These images are rich in color and high in quality. Joint Photographic Experts Group is the most popular image file format as it supports around 16.7 million colors. Though, 
Saving the image file in this format reduces the file size to about 5% of its normal size but at the same time, its quality also gets affected. GIF stands for Graphic Interchange Format. GIF is the most commonly used file format for animations. Tagged image file format is standard file format used for storing high color depth images and is popular among graphic artists, the publishing industry, and the photographers. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. PNG format is mainly used for images on the web. It supports a wide variety of colors it is very but does not support to animation drawing after finishing the work. Once it is saved, we can reuse it anytime. By default, a paint file is saved with extension PNG. We can save the file in other formats also as shown in the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.